Well, hello. Um, I see a, th a few of you are here already. Um, thank you for stopping by. Okay, so if you watched, um, I'm obviously not going to start for another few minutes yet. I'm going to um, do the Amazon packaging journal cover, quite similar to the one I showed you the other night on my live, which that journal is now finished and I'm going to do a video um, in a little bit. Hi, Drew. Dewdrop, dro I can't even speak now, Dewdrop. <laughs> Hi, uh, thanks for joining us. So if you're on here and uh, you can see the chat on the right hand side, um, say hello. Uh, Hi, Patricia. Yeah, so Amazon packaging. We know we've all got lots of it and there's loads of people doing this right now. So this isn't something new. Hi, Annie. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Brenda. I'm glad you could join me. I know a lot of you missed it the other day. Hi, Jane, Rhonda. Hello, and thank you for joining. <clears throat> so yeah, these are the items I'm going to be using. Um, well, I might not use all of these, but I've just got them to hand. Um, they're my own sprays with acrylic, water, some of it's got some micro powder in it. Um, some of it has got oh, some of it, a little bit of alcohol as well. Hello, hello. Um, I'm going to be using book pages. I'm using this gel matte medium to, I will be um, adhering this to the the inside of the journal cover. I'll be using some gesso. I'm gonna start setting things out of the way now. And like I said, this is just coffee in that one. The material that I'm using, now I was gonna do a two-parter. Um, good evening. Um, but I didn't wanna do a two-parter because um, I would have had to let all this dry and obviously doing a live, it's gonna take absolutely ages. Um, and I'll be just waffling on for about, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes waiting for all this to dry. Um, so what I done with this was I sprayed it with coffee water and it's just a thin old, you can see that, it's just a thin old um, cotton bed sheet and like I said, I sprayed it with coffee water, then I gessoed all over the top of it, so it then becomes really stiff, you can hear that. Um, and that is simple to do. Spray your material, and it can be, as, like I said, as thin as this, because this is like wafer thin, you can like literally see stuff <laughs> behind it. Um, let the coffee dry, gesso it, let the gesso dry. So what I'm going to do first is, and then a selection of book pages, um, anything you like, because I am just gessoing over these. Um, and yeah, Amazon packaging, I have already taken off all the sticky labels. Um, and obviously you can make this to whatever size you want. Um, the journal that I made the other day, which is this one here, um, uh, it's I'm gonna do exactly the same. This has got three signatures in it, but the one that I'm gonna do is got, uh, with this is only gonna have two signatures. And like I said, I'm gonna do a separate video and just quickly flip through this, but I done um, all the embellishing basically um, on my live the other night. Um, so I'm gonna start by Taking this off like that, and they've got these flaps here. So, I mean, if you were doing a really big journal, you could keep one of these on as a pocket if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna uh, let me see if I can get that off. There we go. Keep that for other things. I would keep that tear a little, you know, the first layer off of that, and then you've got all the corrugated behind it, and you can use that for toppers. So just shoving that out the way. So hello if you're watching, say hello in the comments, the comments box to the right. Well, it's on the right on my screen anyway. Right, so I'm gonna be doing a traveler's notebook size. <coughs> Excuse me. I got my water. Um, 
Hi, Amethyst. Right, so I'm going to just try and create, just for my fingers, a, because it's like this is all corrugated, just going to try and create my spine here. Um, let me think about here, which, where's my ruler? One inch spine, that will do me fine because it's going to have two, two Traveller's Notebook inserts in there. So that's that. And if you just keep trying, keep it lined up. I mean, if you want to do a thicker spine, if you want to. Hi, Sue. If you want to do a thicker spine, if you're putting more signatures in, then you do that. Okay. Right, normally my, um, where's my other ruler? Oh, there it is. Normally that is about, um, I do bounce around, sorry, from inches and centimetres. Uh, and it's only when I'm doing the Traveller's Notebook size journals. I just need a pencil. And I'm going to mark that at 12 and a half centimetres from there. And then just do the same in there and then I'll just draw a line but if you let me I think I'm I thought I've done that correctly just let me check yes I have okay so I'm just gonna mark that up with my lines on here sorry if my head gets in the way but I do need to check that I'm doing this pretty straight. And now I don't know what I've done with my craft knife. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Um, okay. I'm just going to run that down there. Again, you can keep these pieces. These would be good for embellishing, embellishments. Right, and then I have my other line. It's not so easy when I've got um, cameras and lighting restricting me a little bit because this was quite big oops see i just went stew iffy then you could do this in a paper trimmer but i'm not going to try and get my paper trimmer in um at the moment Ooh. oh yeah i have messed that up a little bit there we go with the lines it's because i can't put my head over there we go i might keep that for something else uh, just gonna, you know, if it's not perfect, just trim away. So that's that. Then I know I'm going to want this to be about, um, my other one was like eight and a half, I think, or eight and, but I'm actually going to do it at eight and three quarters. And that away so how are we all doing this evening and where are you all from let's get the conversation started okay right right here comes the messy fun bit um i'm just going to grab some scrap pieces of paper Just to put underneath, like so. So I'm going to be using the fabric piece for the outside. So this is the inside. And I'm not really worried about them little bits because um, I'm going to cover them. So I'm using this um, gel mat and I squeezed the last of the old tube into there earlier. And my book pages. You're watching it from Cork in Ireland. Very nice. I've never been to um, uh, I've never been to Ireland. I've been to Northern Ireland. I haven't been to Southern Ireland. Okay, so I'm just putting this. This if you've got other um, like decoupage glue, and you're in Canada. Are you still getting snow in Canada? Um, oh, weather is really strange at the moment. Yeah, this matte medium is really good because it dries really quickly. 
Um, I also do have my own mix one of, um, you're in East Anglia. You're just up the road from me. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the one that you make yourself with the PVA and water is absolutely fine to do with this, but because I'm doing this on camera, I wanna, I want a fast drain glue. The other stuff takes ages. <clears throat> I mean, if you're particular, if you're not gonna cover over your book pages, um, be mindful of the text, what, what's on there, because I've done that before. <laughs> Right, and I'm leaving that ha like, hanging over the edge because I'm going to fold that over as well. And you're from York in Pennsylvania. We have a York over here in the UK as well. Oh, you're in Devon. Um, got friends that live in Devon. Um, Oakhampton. Uh, we haven't been obviously for quite a while now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Devon's lovely. We go to Cornwall a lot because my husband's daughter lives down there now. Well, she, she lived down there, then she moved up here for university, and then she's went back down. And I couldn't tell you where she lives, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> but I love Cornwall. Hi, Lou. Wondered where you were. I was going to message you a minute ago. <laughs> um, well, Lou, if you're catching up, I'm going to do this in a one -er. I'm not doing it in two parts now. Because uh, Lou was messaging me today about when you're going to do this. But there was a lot of work going on um, in the neighbour's gardens or over the last, like, well, few weekends. And, and today was one of them. You know, the building stuff in the garden. And um, it was just too noisy for me to come out this afternoon. But I'm kind of glad because I thought about this a little bit more. And, you know, prepped my material so that I don't have to do that. Uh, snowed, who's snowed in? Oh, you got stuck in a pub in Oakhampton, obviously. Oh my God, they haven't got many pubs in, in Oakie. Um, I've been to a few of the pubs. Can't remember what they're called either. Who needs to know what they're called, eh? <laughs> um, right, you can do. I mean, you can tear your book pages up if you want to. You don't have to do them what I'm doing them. You can do them in smaller pieces, but that's entirely up to you. Um, I'm still all stuffed up with allergies. Freezing cold outside, and the pollen is really high because all the trees were tricked into blossoming the other week when we had beautiful weather. Um, right, so we've got a few watching. Would you like to say hi um, on the chat and get chatting along? Uh, hi, Patty. Right, I'm just thinking, is that going to... Yeah, I'm going to do some patchwork here. Lou is one of the moderators when I do a, a live as well. So she can, uh, she helps out with this. And I don't know where Andrea is tonight. I actually forgot to message her today because um, she's normally about as well. Andrea is Artie Mays. Right. How do we want that? We do it that way. I need to put some more of this glue. This is my new one that I got yesterday. Um, I think I'm going to have to buy the much bigger one of this. But that because this stuff's good. I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, if you don't want to use book pages, you could use, um, like, you know, your scraps when you're doing, like, collaging and things like that. You could also use them and you could have a nice colourful uh inside cover or you can do it inside and outside you don't have to do it with material that i'm going to be doing um okay let's 
So I already said, what are you all up to? Somebody said hay fever. My hay fever started to sneeze. Yeah, really bad this year. I've heard a lot of people saying that they go a couple of years without having any allergies and they only get it if the pollen, you know, it all starts really early and I think it has done this year. Um, let me see. Me and uh, my two sons have got it really bad, um, like just constantly stuffed up and uh, sneezy and just like that heavy head feeling. I did see, you know, the other day people saying, oh, you managed all year without catching COVID. And then hay fever has got us and knocked us on our backside because some people have been really poorly with the hay fever. Um, you know, not dismissing that COVID isn't serious, but, you know, because, <clears throat> of course, when you start getting um, symptoms of anything, you know, you're getting a little bit paranoid and you just you just start to start to think, oh, gosh, is this a cold? Is it COVID? Is it this? Is it that? Right. So need some more glue. I'm going to set this on my radiator and then I'm going to come in with my sprays and do my um oh hi tunda and hi to everyone else if i've missed you and not said hello to you but hi hello welcome um hope you're all having a good day wherever you are in the world okay right let's move this onto my heater and hopefully that will help speed up the drying process oh i need to put some more glue on there some well matte medium because I'm going to be gesso on that well once this is dry I need to um tuck all that in and do around the corners but we will get back to that one I'm just going to set this to one side for a second and I have not one I made earlier like I did the other night <laughs> um hi Adele Smith No, it wasn't gesso, it was um, matte. I'm going to be using gesso on it shortly, but this is a gel matte medium, and that's the make. Uh, right, I just want to put that on there to try and absorb some of the sprays that I'm going to be spraying on here. If you're just joining, um, I had a piece of really thin cotton, um, it was bed sheet and obviously it's been washed and i've been using it on and off for years hi beryl um i coffee stained it then i gessoed it um and in between the coffee dye and i dried it then i gessoed it because now now i don't know because it really does change the texture if you can hear that hope you can hear it but you know that's nothing. Um, so that really does change the texture with the gesso. So I'm just going to come in with um, a bit of coffee water, which I have in my big jar. And I'll just use a big old paintbrush. Um, and obviously I'm going to do as much as that area as possible so that I can cover, cover my Amazon box. And that Amazon box when you've um covered it with book page and gessoed and sprayed and inked and you know if you add fabric onto the front of the cover and stuff like that it feels amazing um sorry i'm just having a little cheeky look at what you're talking about brenda is in south derbyshire You can't get gesso. You can make your own. You can look up on um, YouTube. There's a really strange noise outside, like a siren. Right, so I've got yellow, blue. Can't remember what colour that is. This uh, lagoon. I thought, oh, that's going to be nice. I'm going to use that last though because it's my dark, the darkest one. This one doesn't really come out that kind of lilac here, but it's got a lot of shimmer in it. So when I do spray it on there, the shimmer is amazing. And I have green. I don't know what colours these are. Um, this is avocado. 
here we go I'm just going to show you actually because I have the acrylics that I've used to make them sprays so I'll give that a little drying time as well this one is peril wisteria and as you can see it's shimmery okay there's lots of shouting going on outside now hope there's no interruptions this one is blue baby blue sorry i was going to say blue sea i don't know where that came from <laughs> uh, my brain doesn't function properly so that's that one i don't think there's any shimmer in that one and put them there that's just a yellow acrylic that i have just a normal yellow um that is the lagoon and that is the um avocado and i didn't use that that was sand but i don't, haven't used that so let's just put these painties out of the way and set the sprays over there okay so i might have to put my heat gun on this every now and then because obviously it will just all if i start just spraying things on it will all get muddy looking so i am going to do that now and i'm going to try and keep it as short as possible and obviously i can't edit this because it is live okay so here we go it's not even plugged in because i had my glue gun on earlier <laughs> so i don't unplug that there we go uh, ah there we go that's better so i know that's an, an annoying noise okay it's not dry dry but it's as dry as it's going to get I'm, oh, I'm so tempted to use that lagoon so <laughs> i don't know what color i want to use just gonna yeah just little splodges of this here and there and this is just coffee dyed water and it has got some shimmer in there you can use tea if you like um Oh, I love this blue. Really comes out nice, this blue. <clears throat> and I've got some kitchen paper. Um, I'm just going to have a little cheeky look again at what you're, what you're all chatting about. Because I think Lou's doing all the um, answering and saying hi. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about the gesso yeah you can i think it's just like white white paint and oh something else can't remember <laughs> i'm not even going to tell you because i have made it and i've even and it was lou actually years ago that um showed me how to make the like your own texture paste as well um right a little bit more of that blue just gonna put some of this on you do barely see this i think it's because you probably see it better on um like just white like a white background i'm assuming all right and i don't want that to get too muddy so i'm going to try and drive dry that oh it's pva and paint and talc for texture that's right yeah <laughs> Hi Joey. Since it's still pretty wet. Um I'll just have a little feel of my um my cover. So I'm gonna put this on the heater now because it is a you know you, this is just how you have to do that. I'm gonna put the heat on this just very quickly as well.
Oh, that's made me all hot now. <laughs> right, it's not completely dry, but I need to, I do need to glue this down so we can get cracking. And I do think covers like this do take a little bit of time. When I done the one the other day, it took me ages, ages and ages to do it. Um, but that's because I just didn't really know what I was doing. I was just um, like playing about. Um, okay, so I'm back with my matte medium and I'm just going to go across there, making sure there's lots on there. But I am going to stitch around this, so um, am I in frame? Yep. It's actually quite good to see that I'm in frame looking at the camera. <laughs> I mean, looking at my laptop, I should say. Right, need a little bit more there. Then I fold that up and that and any little bits that aren't done, do that. Okay, and then these little bits. Now I got this, I did get this idea from watching, like I said, loads of people were doing this at the moment, but I saw 49 dragonflies. Um, Barbara, I think her name is. So if you've just joined, hello and welcome. And um, you can say hi in the chat box to your right. Well, it's on the right on my screen. That's a good idea, putting like, you know, really fine sand. I must admit, um, I've had various different gessos. Um, and the one before this one, um, this one seems a lot finer. Runnier, that's the word, runnier. But the one I had before was quite gritty. I actually quite like the, the grittier one. But, um, I, you know, I don't really know all that much about them. Um, it works, this works, it does the job it's supposed to. It does what it says on the tin. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did prefer the other one, even though it was the same brand, but just a thicker one. Your new... Uh, Oh, Lou's managed to put the link up to 49 dragonflies. She got some amazing videos. Um, and she'd done another one the other day, which was a paper bag like with a handle and she used metallic paints and butterflies and gold metallic um oops didn't push my little corners in and it turned i mean i must admit at first i was like oh i'm not sure on that color not my type of color i'm saying to myself you know because everybody likes the wrong colors don't they when she was finished i was like that is absolutely amazing not something that i would have thought of doing so it is good to you know watch lots of people and watch how they do things the techniques the colors they use paints etc yeah did you see it was lovely wasn't it adele really nice um <clears throat> i think that's why i ended up buying that lagoon because it was as near to the color that she had used although hers was metallic mine's just acrylic i'm not overly keen on shiny shiny Okay, so that's that done. I'm just going to set that to one side for a second and wipe up my mess. Um, Got to wipe up the mess or everything will stick to it. How do I stop the spine from cracking? Well... Um, I don't, it's not paper I use, I don't use paper, I use, um, I use cardstock, um, and there is like four layers, 
and it's all sewed around the edges and it's glued in the middle and if I use fabric on the outside it's still got three at least three layers of cardstock behind that and it's all stitched um, and there's no problems with it whatsoever so it's yeah and the cardstock that I generally use is when I use the three layers to build up the cover that's just normal like white cardstock and it's like 180 GSM each sheet so think about that you know layered on top and then if I'm using a designer cardstock some of them are like 230 and 250 260 GSM as well so they're really super thick and just putting the glue if I mean, if you are not happy with just putting glue down the middle, you can use some Tyvek or a piece of thin cotton fabric and that will secure it. But I haven't had any problems. OK, right. Let's try some of this yellow. Uh, oh, that's actually quite nice. I'm probably going to have to keep coming backwards and forwards, spraying this and letting it dry and things like that because I don't even know what theme I'm going to be doing on my next journal. <laughs> I just fancy these colours. I do. Um, I'll just put my heater on again. It's getting really, really hot in here. Um, okay, just have a little look at your... Yeah, she did. She, the thing is, a lot, a lot of these people, they show you all these like step by steps, and it is so easy. Like, it's not complicated. Um, it's it just depends if it's supplies and things like that. Um, right, I'm going to dry this very quickly so I can crack on with this. Right, if you find that your cardstock is cracking, right, um, seen this years ago and it was with many albums when they were using cardstock to make the covers and sometimes down the, the corner of the spine it would crack. What they used to do with the cardstock was slightly dampen it so that when it folded it didn't and then, but if you're finding that it's it, it's cracking, maybe... Um, like try the damp don't soak it don't like put lots and lots of water in on it just maybe a baby wipe or something and just like rub it down on in the inside the reverse side of the design that you're going to use and use a glue and then seal it afterwards as well keep it in the position i find like if i'm doing something and if it's got little grooves, I will mark the little grooves whilst when I put the cardstock on, mark the grooves with a bone folder and then leave it flat. And normally when I come to um, like folding it in, it's fine. Um, let things dry properly as well. That's another tip. Another little tip. Right, we're going to get some gesso on here. Um, this is the inside, remember, because um, I'm going to cover it with that material when it's done. Right, I'm going to put the gesso, oh, if I can open it. I had it opened earlier. <laughs> Sometimes that seals itself shut. Okay, um, I'm just going to put a, a dollop or two on there and use my brayer that I didn't use for weeks and weeks because I don't want to dirty it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Right, you can see I've lost some of that there, so I'm going to scoop that up and pop it on there. This is actually giving that a little bit of texture as well. I'm trying to don't have a brayer which I've recently only bought one 
an old card of some sort and just scrape it on that also gives like you know marks and things like that on there so there we go we'll take that off and put it back in the pot it's not cheap <laughs> Um, and obviously, I've got to dry this as well. Oh, we can put the lid on. Ta-da! Right, I just want to get that off of there. So that it doesn't touch anything else. It's about the only thing I do clean when I use it. <laughs> okay, a little bit of heat on there. It shouldn't take too long. Why use a brown silver brush? It spreads quicker. Um, brush takes a little bit, a bit more time to do. Um, yeah, it's, it's just quicker. And also, you know, if you're adding other colours and you want things to move around, it's it's easy. You get us. I find you get like a smoother coverage. But if you want all that brush strokes and things like that, then use a brush. Used a pizza crossed ruler before I purchased. That's a good idea. <laughs> it's amazing. Use what you have. Do you know what I mean? If you've got something, you don't have to use a brayer. Um, it's just, you know, use it. I mean, I've I enjoyed using the brayer, using all the different colours on for backgrounds and things like that. And it is just so much quicker to do that than brush it. I'd still be brushing that on now. Um, and... Right. Still wet. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been using it was brushes I was using. I only just bought this sprayer about a month or so ago, and I've actually only used it a handful of times. But I am going to be using a brush just to do the um, the inside of the the other side of the book page on there, which I will do right this second. Still a little wetness there i'm going to hold this as well because it's still so i just want to do that because i also want to go over that just in case it peeks it peeks through the material which i don't think it will because the material has been coffee dyed gessoed coffee dyed again um uh says uh, uh you know it's a uh, not a quick process doing this cover this well you know how i'm doing it anyway like i said you don't have to i have to do the book pages or anything like that you could just use those state of my hands already <laughs> mucky duck i am a mucky duck it is amazing what kitchen tools you can use um even for things like adding texture and stuff you know like sponges lids round lids square lids anything that you just you know things that you would normally throw out keep them i've noticed uh, if you've been watching Artie Mays, she's been doing um textures and backgrounds and things with household objects and she's got a big tub of things and it is amazing the the lovely textures and designs that you can get from things that are just lying around the house or things that you could possibly just throw out now like your card um like this corrugated card i'm trying to think where my other one is this has been um mod podged and then i use i put my inks on it and do lines use that for lines that was an idea from paula lemon a good few years ago but um i mean i'd kept this from something as well and you know again i could just you could just mark it put inks on it paints on it and make anything any designs with it you wish um i am i am got all painty here it's all wet and yucky um let me just see how my Mm, yep, right, this is going on to dry for a little bit on the heater whilst I get the material back out. And I do need to move that. And I'm just going to put that underneath because it saves it soaking. 
Oh no, I put all my cardboard out for recycling last week. Does that mean I need to put in another order for Amazon? Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> I've literally got so much. Under, there's about this much gap between my work surface and the units that are underneath and they're just filled with Amazon packaging that I've been saving for ages and ages. And, and then in one corner, there's just piles of boxes, the Amazon boxes where I use if I'm sending out two or three journals or bigger journals that need to be in a box. Um, because I used to spend a fortune buying packaging and now I save it like a crazy person. Sorry, I'm just having a little drink of water because it's really dry in here because I've got the heaters on. Oh. Right. <clears throat> that is not really. I want more yellow, I think. If I hold it closer. I don't think, I think I'm just not going to bother with the other colours now. And I'm just going to, once that's dry, I'm going to put on the lagoon and then I'm going to do splodging on there with some distress inks and some water and you will need which I did look out and now I can't find it oh there it is some form of plastic uh we'll show you the splodging I have done videos on that before the splodging but um you'll see me do it in a minute I'm just going to quickly put the heat on this Okay, right, let's see. <laughs> I hope this is going to be okay. I'm just going to spray it into the bin because I haven't used it yet. Oh, it's a nice colour. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, really like that. And you know what? I'm really, ha I'm really happy with that. <laughs> Sounded like I was from London. Um, oh, I really do love that colour. And this is all, again, this is all thanks to... Barbara because um, I got that colour I really 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 like that um, bit too can I was a bit too close would prefer it a little bit I wonder if I can move it around now but I am going to be splodging over that so oh has everyone had a go at making journals yet yeah who's made a journal who hasn't made a journal who wants to make a journal Okay, I have, I don't know what I've done with it, but I do have a big old bit of perspex that I haven't got a clue, oh, no, yep, found it, found it, just didn't put it back where it should have gone back to. So I'm going to move that up like that so that you can see everything that's going on here um, and I'm going to use some vintage photo not all at the same time though and this is a faded jeans or yeah faded jeans so yeah it's pretty much dry so I'm gonna start with Oh, a lot in that actually all right so put that on any form of like plastic or something like that and then use some water i've got this water spray here all right um your plastic sheet and it'll drag up the paint and i just want to put it here there and everywhere on there
Yep, it's faded jeans. I'm going to see, I might have actually picked up, um, I've got that one there. I need a bit of tissue here. I need to dry this off a little bit. <clears throat> Don't want to put my ink pad into water. Well, that's, maybe it's just how I'm, oh, let's see if that's any. I do have, I've got a whole big pile of distress inks there and I can't get to them all because I could be doing with, a, with like walnut stain or something like that and I have got some somewhere I haven't used it in ages yeah that's better it's a little bit darker be really hard to see. I'm just looking at the camera it's really hard to to see the markings I'm gonna lift it up I don't know if it's the light or not but I'm getting there I'm getting there slowly um, put some more on here I want some more of that and I've lost my water there it is I keep my water hooked on and the nozzle into my bin because a couple of times I've come in and it's been sat on the side and it's leaked for some reason even when it's been the nozzle's been turned off and um, one day I'd done it and I had made a pile of tags and it ruined them all I was quite upset <laughs> right now I'm going to wipe that and go in with the blue. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, use can, if you're trying something like this, you can use any colour you like. Just lost the blue then. <laughs> oh, see, there's loads, of, there's loads of blue ink in this ink pad. A um, little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. And... It, with, with the distress inks, as soon as you add water to it, it kind of forms into droplets. And that's what your plastic sheet, your plasticky bag or whatever, picks up when you do it. As you can see there, I don't know if you can see that. You can see that it's just all, mm, there we go. I'm not going to put too much because there is a lot of blue on that. And when, once this is drying on the cover, on the actual box cover, I will look at look how nice that is just straight onto the um, like the coffee and the um, what do you call that stuff? Gesso. Oh, I just love how bluey that is looking. So I'll probably play around with um, Artie Maisie's new kit, which is called A Touch of Blue, because this is a lot of blue in this. Um, and I have a sheet somewhere where I'm not wasting anything. I've been just putting gesso and all sorts on it. A <laughs> uh, bit of gold metallic paint under there. And this can be added in to something when it's got more because I'm fed up wasting all this and and Andrea has you know she's a good one for showing you don't waste your products put it onto scraps right um <clears throat> move that out of the way so I'm going to bring my light right down just a little bit just to see if that will pick up that a little bit more or maybe I will pull the camera right down <laughs> maybe that will help <laughs> okay I'm pulling it back up now and I don't want to make you dizzy don't want to make you dizzy okay right all right the inside of that is now dry and I'm just going to put that on there to dry a little bit. I'm just going to find my 
and the spiny bit, which is there and there. Still a little bit wet there. That's my inside. And what I'm going to do with that, actually, um, I'll spray a little bit of this. It should be around that way. And instead of drying that, I'm just going to wipe it all across. I just want little marks on it, not a lot. Um, I don't think I'll spray that blue on there. <clears throat> Um, maybe do some direct inking like this. I know it looks messy, right? But, <laughs> but, 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 it's, uh, it's going to move around. Because you've got the gesso on there. Um, I'm going to mic wall for that with some blue. I'm just gonna it's not wet but I just want to try and put some heat on this for a few seconds do a little bit of blue Ooh. and see if that moves around mm. don't like it can just gesso over it again and start again but I just want a little bit of blue there maybe yeah that's actually better because I may or may not cover this all like with a pocket or something once I like do the journal and put the journal inside of it, okay. Oh, hi Tanya. Right, so that's the inside done of me Amazon packaging. Um, thinking I'm, I'm trying to think whether I sealed that before or not. Um, I know if I'm going to go over this with the um, uh, matte medium, the colours are going to shift around, but I'm going to know anyway. Just do it quite gently then, maybe. And I'm just keeping all my little um, pots, my pudding pots, to put things like this in. Um, okay. Oh Tanya, you'd re you really enjoy making a journal. It's I find it so therapeutic. It's I find it so relaxing. Um, I just love the whole process of it. And for nearly what seven years now, I've never got bored of it. <laughs> never got bored. Of it. I mean, I've, I've run out. Of, I've I've lost inspiration. You know, I've lost my mojo and things like that. But I never get fed up making them. You know, I don't do all the other crafts that I used to do before, like tags and. Right, I'm thinking of getting a little bit adventurous and doing some stamping on here. <laughs> I didn't do it with the other one, but um, I'm just going to put some stuff away um, to give me some space. Um, oops. Oh. It's amazing how much mess you make when you start doing one thing. Right, so that's near enough. Just need that cover to dry the box. This is really, really dry now. And um, I'll even stitch this. I've set up my sewing machine. I might actually be able to lift it up and put it in here. I kind of moved things around earlier. Um, so that because I'm going to stitch this, I will glue this onto the the cover and then I will stitch around the edge to you know make sure 
it is 100%. Right, I've got this. Um, and I think I've got a script stamp somewhere, just a little one. I have just a little one. This might be a, a Timmy Holtz one. Oh, let's see. I'm scared if I mess it up. Didn't even work. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit here and there. Probably not even going to see it. I'll probably cover it over with a topper or something. Maybe I should have used black. <laughs> um. Mm. I never know when. I never know when enough is enough, right? And then I never know when to stop when I'm doing this. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, that's enough. Because I mess it up. Right, there's this dry. Nearly a couple more, couple more minutes. Right, I'm just going to check what you've all been chatting about. Because it's really hard for me to talk, craft, and read at the same time. You're going to lock yourself in your shed tomorrow. I do that every day. Lock myself in my shed. <laughs> I love it out here. I do. My youngest son has moved out and his, his room is spare. So we were deciding whether I moved into the house for my craft stuff or I stay in here and be separated from them all <laughs> um, and make the spare room into like a room for the grandkids and stuff all the toys that are in my cupboard in my my living room can then go upstairs and we can knock that cupboard out and we could gain some space in our living room um really thought hard about it and i thought no i think i prefer coming out the house to my shed even in winter I still, even when it's snowing, I still <laughs> love coming out here. Right, I want this to dry. I'm still got, I've got, still got gesso drying on it on the on the other side. Mm. Okay, right. Just looking to see like the writing because some of it is uppy downy sideways, so I kind of want it that away and I need to put glue on there and I think I'm going to use what glue shall I use because I'm going to um, going to sew it anyway you've just taken over the front room now and it's just you <laughs> do you know what sometimes I've actually imagined like if we just like when it's just me and Alan in the house, right? Obviously we've got two dogs, but we've still got one lad still at home. And I'm thinking, you know, we've got a three bedroom house. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, all that space. I could actually have a sewing room. I could have one of the rooms as my craft room. And even I could have a little nook in the, in the living room. So that if I wanted to sit downstairs and do certain things, like maybe just a little fussy cutting area. <laughs> I was like, I'll take it over the whole house. Literally the whole house. Right. Um, it's easily done or with crafts. So if, when I first started, I literally had a few little boxes and I like old shoe boxes. Then I got a couple of the little, the drawers, the plastic drawers that you put stuff in on the wheels. Had that and it was under my stairs. It was before we had any grandkids as well with all the toys that we have now. And um, I thought that was perfect, but I did have to every day pull it out, put it all back because I used the dining table. And of course, we used that for eating. Um, it was a pain in the butt. And then when I got my first shed, I was like, oh, I've got so much space. And then it was like, I haven't got enough room. Then I got a bigger shed and I've still got not enough room. I think even if I had the whole house to myself, I would still run out of space. I really would. Oh, here we go. Little bit of that. Don't know why I'm using this. I should have just used my my hand, my homemade glue. But I want this to dry quick, 
as well. Right. Okay. Right, I'm going to put that back down. Try and make sure when I'm stamping, I'm putting it the right way round now. I'm going to flip that over like so. Look at all the mess. That's actually nice all under there as well, isn't it? <laughs> right. I'm just going to place that there and hope that I've got good bits underneath. Yeah, I know that's a good thing if you're like if it's only you in the house, you don't need to walk to, to tidy up. I mean just walk away. Go to bed. <laughs> uh, yeah, the house I mean I've like sometimes I when I had my old shed I used to um take a lot of my stuff in in the winter because my my old shed just wasn't that hot couldn't heat it up didn't matter how many radiators i had in here could not heat it up and um so i used to take stuff in but i just i wasn't my mind wasn't in the same place when i was indoors doing it It's strange when Tanya, I understand what you mean when you said that. It's a bit, it's, it's so weird since obviously Kev passed away. All right, there we go. See, it's a long process, but it's a, it's a, a nice. I'm going to sneeze in a minute. I think. Right, give me big scissors, and I'm not going all the way to the edge right now because um, I can't get my head over properly and, and do it. So I don't want to mess it up and cut into anything. So, and see all these little bits that I'm cutting off. I got, ah, I just nearly stabbed myself. You can make tabs out of them. I've got loads of bits from the last journal. Yeah, definitely too many sh distractions when you're indoors and your family's around you. I mean, even when I'm sitting and I've been like messing around on Photoshop and I've been obviously coming up with a few little bits and things. Oh, like they, I, I get, they talk to me and I'm like, they don't realise how much concentration I need to be able to remember what to keep doing all the time. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm not getting too bad at it now, but oh, I'm like, don't talk to me. Do not talk to me. And then they're, they're going like, oh, Alexa, can you play like a radio station? And I'm like, I'm trying to concentrate here. I don't want to listen to music. Um, it is just one of those things, isn't it? All right, keep all these little bits. You can do things with them. Right, I've got to turn that heating off now because I'm having a hottie. Um, you've taken over the whole house. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? I don't think it's a hobby anymore. It's like a, it's, well, you know, you collect stuff and you collect stuff and you collect stuff and you don't use it and you don't use it and it piles up and you need more room. So you take over more space and you put more shelves up and it's just, it's, it's a habit. That's what it is. It's a habit, I think. All right. I'm going to try and get my sewing machine in here now. Um, if I can't move it slightly, and I might have to just. Right, let me see. Oh, my bump's numb from sitting. Mm -hmm. Gotta move my chair out the way. Okay. Right, I might just do it over here so I don't have to. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. got too many drinks and things in the way it's my orange and my pineapple my cleaning of my body um my little detox thing apparently that's a little rubbish <laughs> according to tiktok right um right i'm gonna sew this so chat amongst yourselves ladies I can get in here that is oh my lights in the way now
and you know it's typical my um it's just lost the cotton at the top i think it's because i moved it and it's been caught somewhere that's my old fault there we go always happens when you're on camera well i'm not really on camera am i you can't see what i've just done but i've done it <laughs> uh Here we go, we're trying to feed this through the little wire now. Probably take me half an hour. Oh, would somebody like to come and do this for me? Oh, goodness. Please go in. Oh, I'm going to lose it in a minute. <laughs> Deep breath. I really can't put the cotton through the needle right now. Please work. Ta-da! I've done it! Thank you! Oh, only took me a few minutes, didn't it? Oh, that's really annoyed me. I hate when that happens. Because I need to patch that up now. And I've got to make sure that my thread's not caught. Right. done folks only one little bit to do it's a white plastic going through the um the card stock that's that done thank goodness Right, I'm never doing sewing on a live again. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get this sorted. Hope that weren't too annoying the noise of the it does, it sounds really rough when it's going through like this amount of thickness. So it does. Right, let me see. What did I do with my big scissors? There they are. Right. I've actually got a needle thread. I just couldn't be bothered. But it's in the sewing machine. There's like a box under my sewing machine. And it was just meant, oh, I had it just set up in the right way. Right, I can do this now because I'm stood up. I'm going all the way around. It's amazing how the texture of this material has changed so much as well. Um, from like, it was really, really flimsy to start with. And now it's, it feels amazing. I love the feel once you've played around with it like that. Now 
there we go. I don't know which way it is, but oh, there's more cotton stuck on here. Oh, there we go. Right, I think it's that way. Yeah, it's that way. Here we go. I done it. There we go. There's my cover. I think it's that way. I'm trying to look at the the stamp. Or is it that way? I think it's that way. It is that way. Never mind. I just need to trim around these little bits. Da -da. So there we go. That's sorry, I've got everything in the way now because I had to move it. So that's the cover I done the other night. And that's the journal. I'm gonna I've got a video, I'll upload that in a minute. No, I've got to do the video, sorry. Got to do the video of this. I'll do it after I finish this. Um I'm gonna open this out because obviously this has been totally decorated. Um and that's what I done. And that's what I done today. And you can tell that's a bit a bigger journal because it's got three signatures and it's not a traveller's notebook. This is going to be a traveller's notebook journal with two inserts in it and it's going to be um a touch of blue i think um and I, obviously when i take photographs I'll, I'll get better images of them um from that but i do i love this not, that's not what i want to be showing you i want to be showing you this here we go easy peasy um doesn't that sound nice as well <laughs> and this Obviously, it's still a little bit wet, so that will, but you know, it's as much as I can do on a live. I scratched out with my nails. What I am going to do is come in with a little bit of um, gesso. Just, just I'm just going to use my card on this, right? To do just the splodges and bits. That was too much. Let's see if I can get that off quickly. Yeah, just a tad. Mm. Mm, I like that. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's going to be my cover anyway, so I'm not really worried. But um, do you know what I've got as well that I'm going to do while, whilst I'm at it? And I actually don't know what I've done with it. That's not it this gold metallic by door crafts it's metallic titanium gold see if I'm go i'll go and do this and i'll mess it all up now right <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh thank you linda right i'm just gonna teensy weensy bit of gold teeny weeny little brush I'm going to move all these things out of the way now. And some water. Right, and I'm going to hide my new trainers in case this splatters on them. My son bought me some new trainers the other day. And um, <laughs> they were a lot of money. <laughs> I don't want to get paint on them. So I'm trying to hide my feet underneath because I'm going to be splattering. I've ruined some clothes over the last couple of weeks with gesso and things like that as well. So here we go. Just little, getting more splodges all over the place than on the. I don't want to. I need to. I need to get me one of those fan brushes. This goes everywhere. There we go. Right, got a wet finger. I have no. Where's my? <clears throat> Set that to one side and then I'm just gonna do that on there. <laughs> oh, just splodge it on actually. <laughs> um, there we go. That's a nice design, isn't it? I'm gonna let that dry somewhere safe and then clear up all the, the gold splatters everywhere and just got gesso all over my fingers. <laughs> This is real life crafting. Um, it is what it is. 
oh so realistically that this video has been at half past eight i started it's now quarter to ten so it's an hour and 15 minutes and that's with talking in between as well and drying in between now i could have dried that a lot quicker if i just sat with the heat tool on but i didn't want to do that the whole it would have just been noise the whole video um but you know if this was just a normal video i could have edited all that out and stopped and started but you can't do that with lives i'm afraid um so that's a nice quick cover from your you know recycled amazon boxes um and i've just lost my cover right <laughs> there we go so it has that on it now um, I'll let that dry naturally and then obviously not tomorrow because I've got things to do tomorrow in the house Monday I think I will do my inserts for that and then I might do some lives with like the tags and things like that that I'm going to put inside it um, I will stay on here for another couple of minutes and see if there's anything else that you want to ask this will obviously still show up on my um uh my channel as a streamed video previously streamed video so if there was anything that you asked and hasn't been answered or i have obviously because i can't see everything all the time then ask after this is uploaded and i will get back to you um i'm gonna be and once i've done this as well i'm gonna quickly do the video on the other one and um upload that and that other journal will be for sale in my shop when it's obviously once i've done the video um thank you cheryl that's okay liz you're welcome um i should really do more uh, more of this kind of stuff but uh, sometimes i just get in here and just crack on and get on with it don't think twice about doing videos but i am enjoying these um doing the lives they're a giggle they're the, we had a good giggle the other night as well um things that we talk we were talking about um yeah the, the color it's all come out lovely um i love i mean it's so unique as well you're never gonna i mean apart from if i scanned that i can't know because i've stamped it um and i know that's a tim holt stamp so i can't do that um but if I hadn't have stamped, I could have um, scanned that in with all the stitching and had a cover to just print out. But there you go. Um, I'll live and learn. Um, but yeah, it's a, a unique colour cover with all the colours. Um, and I do love that Lagoon Blue. Really, really nice. Oh, you've crafted along. Glad you crafted along. Good night, Lucy. Yes, looking forward to that. I'll need to, um, I hope you all join each other. You know, if you're on YouTube, um, follow each other. Even if you haven't got any videos up at the moment, you know, hopefully some of you will have videos up. And, you know, there is all the groups as well, the Facebook groups. My, You know, my group, which is Junk Journal Junkies. Then we've got the Junk Journal Junkies chat group. Um, they're all sister groups we've got the boutique group we've got the pen pal group and each group is um specifically for certain things like the main group which is junk journal junkies is just for showcasing your journals with no selling or advertising as in like you know it's not a it's not a community selling board chat group is chatting about craft the boutique group you can sell your crap your journals and stuff on there and the pen pal group is for obviously if you want um long-term pen pals and then there's other groups as well. There's Artie Mays and Friends. Um, and there is um, My Porch Prince has got her own group as well. So has um, Tsunami Rose. There is um, Sophie's Notes as well. It's another group. I'm trying to think of them all now. Um, it's another group. And there's we've got the UK and Ireland Junk Journal Junkies group, which is only for ladies in the UK and Ireland. Um, Shell would like to know what colours you have used, Yvonne. Right, I will show you again. I'll have to show you the paints because I've got them in sprays, but I haven't got them labelled on my sprays. Um, 
let me see right oh we'll go back here oh i just found a piece of cotton somewhere <laughs> right i started off with coffee water and, and a gesso no coffee gesso coffee dyed it again the fabric um then i went in with um yellows which is just a normal yellow right it's, it's in my big tub out the way now then i use some of this green which is avocado and in in these i've got water they have got some have got micro powders in them shimmer mist or whatever you call it um and a little bit of alcohol i don't do it with pure alcohol because it stinks and i can't stand the smell um so that's avocado then there is this blue which is baby blue then there was this, which doesn't really show up, which this is um, Pearl Wisteria. And this got a little shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see that. Get it right up there. See a shimmer? Um, then I used this Lagoon, which was the last one that I done on the colour, on the cover, sorry. And it's lovely. So nice. Um, I've splattered it with gold. I done my splatter things with my inks which is putting these onto like your glass surface spray with water use your sheet splodge it all on you've got to let it dry in between as well remember because as soon as you start mixing all them colors together and they're still wet it will just look like mud um so yeah um muddy muddy lose Thank you, Lou. Lou's been putting up the um, the groups that, you know, if you haven't already joined, then go over and join. Um, uh, Artie Maisie's group, which is Artie Maisie and Friends, she has got lots and lots of lovely freebies on there as well. And some of them all go very well with her kit. She's just put a new one up tonight. It's a freebie, which is um, like word sentiment um, little tiles and things. And I love them. They add some amazing touches to your journal cards and things like that. You know, you just want a little nice word or a little saying or something. Then she is good with that. I've lost a lid there with my blue. So that was them. I did use all of them, but, you know, some colour. Like I said, this didn't show up that well because I think it was... Um, the coffee dyeing and everything the darker colors but i think if you sprayed that on white that would be lovely but it gave it a nice shimmer as well so we had all that lovely shimmer um to play around with uh on the on the cover and the cover is back there um you're a bit late paula you can watch this again obviously um because it will be on replay it just i find watching um lives after you know after they've streamed <laughs> i find it weird because you know people are talking and they when you're watching them you don't know what people they're being asked specifically because of the chat um I'm just reading. Thank you, Paula. Come out lovely. It really did. It come out nice. Um, and it only took um, an hour and 15 minutes because I've been yakking in between. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's this way, actually. Yeah, that will make me remember because of this cloudy bit of gesso there. But that will have a topper on it um, within the next two days. and And that was the one that I done the other day but I'm loving the blues so I'm actually going to leave that there because that one is going to get videoed in a second um, I do have to go now my need to put my charge my phone um, it's I've noticed when I do like an hour and a half two hours that it really does suck, suck up on my battery <laughs> um, I don't know why that is I should maybe try keeping it plugged in whilst i'm videoing um so yeah so thank you all for tuning in um and i will be back next week at some point maybe monday or tuesday evening i'll do another live it'll be tags or envelopes whatever whatever i'm doing at the time and it, it just always remember these are not 
tutorials they're just craft along with me and you can you know we, we can you can chat you can ask questions and all that kind of stuff so yeah thank you all thank you Lou for um moderating again thank you very much and um yeah have a great weekend everyone and I will speak to you all soon bye